Hello everyone and welcome to my second tutorial. This one will demonstrate many things um, such as um, two views in which they follow an object and um, shooting bullets out of a turning plane and uh, separate health bars. So yeah, that's about it. So right now, um, I've already made the everything. So here's a sprite of the plane, I only need one, and a sprite for the bullet. As I only need one. So here is a plane, one. So I've create S to set facing direction to 90. That's very important. Um, is that his facing direction now? Set variable HP, that's its health, to 100. And then step, yes to do. If HP is 0 equal to then destroy self and set alarm 0 to 30 for health bar that that's an object over here now and step transform sprite this way he will turn and stuff so all you have to do is this facing direction angle and then uh, nothing I and mean, you don't have to change anything else so collision with bullet 2 that's the bullet that plane two shoots. Destroy other. That way he doesn't keep hurting you. And set variable HP to minus five. Then now to turn, when you turn left, set facing direction to five. That way he will rotate left. Up. He now you want him to go forward. Set facing direction to speed 6. So that way he'll will be going um, in the direction of facing direction and he'll be going at speed of 6. So then right set variable facing direction to minus 5 of course same as before but if expression is true facing direction smaller than 0 you're going to want to set facing direction back to 360. Okay so if you release up then you want to be able to stop so you stop okay so when you're outside the room then you want to wrap in both directions meaning that you will appear on the other side of the screen so now when you shoot press it down pretty easy you just create object B1 bullet 1 relative and then plane 2 is the exact same and then the bullets okay this is kind of important um you have to set facing direction this this guy's facing direction the same as plane one dot facing direction that way it'll be facing the same direction as the plane is so then of course you want to be able to moving forward so move forward at speed eight facing direction and transform sprite same things facing direction and then bullet two is the exact same now for the health bar, alarm zero, which is what happens when you destroy one of the planes, transitions, fade in and out. There we go, they'll restart the room. Draw. So here's the health bar thing. Set the color to red. And then draw a rectangle for plane one. So this is the size and shape of your health bar. Minus 50, minus 42, all that just making the shape and then this is the same now set the color to green and then you have to make sure that the health bar can move around so do same as everything except for this has to be minus 50 plus plane dot ht hp that way it will be the size of the health so that way you can move around and stuff and of course this is the same and that's about it. So then you stick them all in your room, right here. Okay, so now we have to go to settings and make it whatever size you want. Okay, now views. You need three views here. Well, you don't need three, but I added three. So view one, or zero. It's going to follow object plane. I'm going to make it the size of 400, 400. And then it's also in the screen the way I'm viewing it is also 400 400 
and this is how it's going to follow it is 185 185 pixels that's kind of complicated but if you know it then it's fine view one so this is the next view it's going to be the exact same thing and follow plane two except for with one exception port on screen has to be over that way they're not right on top of each other and you don't want them right up against each other so I'm, I'm gonna want a 10 pixel gap so it's gonna be 410 port on screen is going to be viewed from 410 over that way it'll be exactly what I want now view 2 this is, gets a little bit more complicated I'm gonna want to view the whole room so this is the size of my room and then this is what I is the size I want it to be when I look at it so this so um so I did all the math and made it the exact size I wanted it to be and then I wanted it to place it so then I um placed it with this number right here and then so then that's all I needed it doesn't follow any object it's a fixed thing and it's on a whole room. so now that you've seen how I did everything now you can see the final result This is the final result. As you can see, there is um, an extra port here where you can see both planes. Not very well, but that's because they're shrunk. So now I'm going to control one plane here. As you can see, he flies around, and then sometimes you can see him in the other port. And when I press down, I can shoot. Shoot bullets. Now the other guy is the exact same. He can fly around and do that stuff too. So then, when they shoot each other, then health bar goes down which is exactly what we want so right now I'm just gonna kill this guy for no apparent reason and then when I do it's going to restart the room there we go now it's fading in and out there we go and then it restarts the room so yeah that's about it hope you enjoyed this tutorial goodbye